Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Tease Time. I'm TJ. Uh, today we're going to get behind the driver's seat situated. I want to be able to carry uh, like my jack and my uh, bottle jack. So we need to carry this. And then also in this cluster, this. I just want to be able to strap those in behind the seat. So I, like I have a bunch of material here, which I'm going to use. And then also we're going to cover like the electronic stuff that's behind the seat. So like it protects it. So from uh, like splash, got the windows down and you don't have to worry about rainwater. Uh, so for that, this is what I have. Uh, this is going to be like the splash shield, pla splash shield and also like the vent for electronics behind it. I'm going to use uh, this wood as like the base for where the jack and the bottle jack will be mounted. Uh, for that and then just to take up space we have some wood and then some uh e-tracks and stuff like that so i can use like ratchet straps uh to keep all that stuff sec secure so it doesn't go like bouncing around or falling over or anything like that uh but let me show you the back of the seat and what we have to work with all right and for behind the seat this is what we have right here uh, that wood that I had sitting there, this is going to fill up like the space right here. And then also like if I have to put like E-tracks like higher up, uh, we'll use that to fill in the gap. And then for the splash shield, I just need to cut that so it sits around all this stuff. So that way it's covered so you don't see that it's not exposed. And the window is like right there. Uh, so you don't have to worry about like uh, water splashing like on your electronics and stuff like that behind the seat. Uh, so what we have to do, we just have to measure 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 uh cut everything out into like the shapes to make it all fit and then just uh i'm gonna cut these uh flush well this one flush uh this uh foam insulating foam those ones might be fine how they are i don't have to like deal with those but like i'm gonna have to do like cut that flush for that uh base plate to sit like right there and uh in addition to all of that I have uh, like magnet door stops, like for uh, the door right here, for like the shed door right there. I have these right here. Uh, so they're magnetic. So I plan on putting like one right here. And then this other piece right here will attach to like the door right here. So that way uh, when the shed door is open, the magnet will keep it in place. And then I'll put another uh, rod on the the base plate for where the jack will live just to secure like this door like when it's open it'll be able to keep that open without it like moving with the magnet uh so we're gonna incorporate all this stuff together we're gonna make it work uh so i'm gonna go get stuff uh cut out and then once i get everything cut out i'll show you uh me assembling like this area we're gonna get this situated uh today and get this done so uh stay tuned enjoy <laughs>
And bada boom, bada bang, it's in, it's installed, it's finished. Uh, this is what I was going for, uh, something that I could secure the jack and then possibly I could put jack stands or the bottle jack or I could switch up this configuration. Uh, but I just wanted to put these uh, rings on here just so you could kind of see. I need to order more of them. Uh, but like we had a strap here, strap here. And then for these, we could just kind of go like a ring over like each one. And that will secure these and keep those from moving. So I got like the jack and the jack stands and stuff like that for travel. And then the seat also, like it comes back and there's no interference with that. So there's plenty of room, even if you like slide. Where are you? So this is slot, slid all the way back right there. Uh, no interference issues at all. There's plenty of room, plenty of space. Uh, but you definitely like want to strap like heavy stuff down like that just in the case like if an accident or anything happens You don't want like stuff flying around in the cab uh, So you just want to make sure like this stuff is secure like if it's in here um, But yeah, so we have that And then This is a cool little feature Like I discovered that little uh Lever right there like after I was like crawling behind the seat when I was doing like the back electronics like halfway through it I'm like if I would have knew before I started it would have made life a whole lot easier uh, But this is what I have just to cover like the electronics and stuff and it keeps like from uh, like rain splash Like if the window is open or anything like that, it gets a little moisture in here. It should come trickle down So that serves a purpose and then we also have these little uh, door stop latches uh, just to catch the doors, like when I open the door, like shoe, it catches that, and then also for like the shed, it'll catch right here on this door stop. Uh, so that way you don't have to worry about like the door swinging, and when I have that door open, like it likes to like close it when I when I have it open. Uh, so that would be a nice little addition to just keep like the doors in place. Uh, leave them where I left them <laughs> if that makes any sense uh, but yeah I'm pleased with it it came out pretty good just uh had to measure just had to cut a bunch of stuff and then for these uh the plywood pieces like I ended up spray painting those after I cut them just so like everything like blended in together of like with all the black wood that and everything that was in there already before uh, so I just did that spray painted just cut it cut everything up and then just used like the e-tracks that were uh in the van when I did the demo, so we're just trying to salvage and just use, repurpose as much stuff as possible. But uh, that is it. So until the next one, until the next one, stay grounded. Peace, TJ.